Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 21-22 Panini Chronicles Basketball six box half case. Pick your team number two. Second half of the case that we busted open yesterday. And if you follow the instructions here, you got a chance to win a sealed box of 21-22 Chronicles Basketball. Big thanks to this group here for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up and appreciate the people who got into that team random as well to help out there. Appreciate it. Darren, you ended up with the last spot mojo before we ended up pulling the remaining teams out for that random. All right, thanks everybody. Remember I marked those two so you know that they're from the same case. And we actually did the first half of another case earlier today. And we can run that half back tonight if you'd like to. We've got time to fill it and break it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com Now if you're watching live, ladies and gentlemen, we got, we got to do two more breaks to unlock the Thursday Night Football promo. I think a great candidate um, would be that gold standard filler that'll unlock Pick Your Team 6. There's only four spots left, four or five spots left. A one in five chance to get Tennessee. Which is incredible odds. So if you want to give that a shot, that would, uh, that would take down one additional break, and then we just have to figure out what the last break is going to be to unlock the break credit. There's Jordan and Wara. Apprentice autograph, 97 out of 99 for uh, Milwaukee. That's going to go to, it's going to go to William and the Bucks. Uh, there's Moses Moody, and then there's Cade Cunningham as well. Let's try to find some numbered Cade Cunninghams here. Just in the interest of time, I'm going to move a little more quickly through this break than in previous ones. I want to give us a shot at getting all that all that break credit done. That Evan Mobley will go to Cleveland. That's for Rob. Let's let's look out for some numbered ones, some parallels of those guys. Like a Scotty Barnes parallel, that's nice, that's the 75. And Davion Mitchell to 49, that's for the Kings, that'll be for Keishan. Scotty Barnes goes to Toronto, that'll be for Roil. Got Jalen Green for the Rockets. For Ryan, we got the Tyrese Halliburton update card, Pacers, that's for Keishan. We got LeBron James to 149, nice. Lakers, that's gonna go to Adam. I'm assuming LBJ parallel out of here, will still do well on a secondary market, better than most, that's my guess. Trey Murphy the third to 99. Josh Giddy, rookies and stars. Crusade insert for OKC. That'll be for Patrick. Won an extra spot and then got randomized OKC. That's not too bad. Trey Murphy will go to the Pelicans. That'll be for William. And the Davion Mitchell to 75. That'll be for the Kings. That'll be for Keishan. 40 out of 75. Another Josh Giddy, Scotty Barnes. It's the 75th anniversary. And there's a wild cat has appeared. Carl Anthony Towns, apprentice autograph, 36 out of 99. That's for Patrick. Got randomized the T-Wolves as well, nice. There's Moses Moody and a Jalen Green. All right, good start, nice first box. Yeah, they are a pretty good looking card, Lord Storm. I, I do enjoy the sort of sampler platter kind of vibe, you know? I think a lot of times when people come into the shop, our store here in Hermosa Beach, we uh, 
we tell people, hey, or some people come in and say, hey, what should I get? I don't know what to get. I kind of like basketball, but do I go with prism or do I go with this or do I go with this? It's like sometimes we're like, hey, if you can't decide, get a box of Chronicles or get a pack of Chronicles and you'll get a wide variety of stuff and then you can kind of pick and choose. It's like, oh, I like this, oh, I don't like this, and then you'll get a kind of hands-on idea of, of, um, of what some different products might look like. Although there isn't really like Phoenix basketball, but you know, you get the general idea. And some of, and depending on what what card it is, or depending on the parallel, some of these can do go, go for pretty for a pretty good uh, price on the secondary market. Herbert Jones, seventy four out of one forty nine. We got our top men on it, Doctor Jones, top men. And uh, Herbie's going to go to Will, William, and the Pelicans. And a Josh Giddy to 149. Nice. And we've got a Josh Primo. 9 out of 10. Low number for the Spurs. That's going to be for Kayshawn. Josh Giddy for Patrick and OKC. Nice. Evan Mobley. Sengun, another Evan Mobley, and a Cade Cunningham to 149. That'll be for Chad B and the Pistons. All those Cade Cunninghams are going to go to you. Maybe we'll find some ink in here. Cade Cunningham ink, or something super low numbered. Cameron Thomas to 149 for the Nets. Another Cade Cunningham. We got Donovan Mitchell to 49. Tyrese Halliburton update card. And we've got a Sandro Mamakela Shalega to 75. Nailed it. Ma Mamu Kala Shavili. Shavili, I think. That'll be for the Bucks. That's going to go to William. You want to get back into collecting again, Lord Storm saying. Um, yeah, it is a little overwhelming just because you're right. There are just so many products out there, so many different products at so many different price points and different levels, and you know. But everyone's got to start somewhere, and I think, I think just kicking back and just watching these group breaks which you've been doing you know is really the best the best way to kind of start I think it's a Scotty Barnes at 75 Raptors Royal. so in that, in that way you can kind of get an idea of what of what you end up liking and not liking you know and then maybe kind of keep the budget low you know join a break here and there just to get a feel for it Was Jonathan Kaminga to 99, and so that'll kind of give you a little taste of the group breaking world, and then a little taste of actually what you like or not like when you actually have these cards in your hands. I mean, some people just dive into it and just go nuts on group breaks, and that that's a, that's a, that's an option too. <laughs> but but if you want to kind of be a little more methodical about it, it's just watch and learn. You know, that's really what it is: watch and learn. Another thing that I often suggest or I like to do is um, pretend you have a team in this break. You know, just you can just play along. And then pretend like you let's pretend you have a really expensive team and pretend you have a really cheap team. And then just kind of track the hits as we go through the break. And then you can look them up on eBay or some other secondary market and you can be like, "All right, so what are he's going for?" You know. Would this be, am I making money back? Or would this just be for my personal collectionist? You know, you have to think about why you're collecting too. I think for most people it's a blend, right? Most people just be like, hey, I'm just buying it just because I love the hobby and I just want to add some cards to my collection because I like it. And it's usually a blend of that and hey, you know, it'd be nice if I, if I stumble into a really nice hit and make some money off of it.
you know, so it all comes down to what's your acceptable level of risk. What do you want out of this, you know, process? Maybe just for the experience, just for fun. That's fine too. You know, a lot of people aren't aren't buying in to make money back. A lot of people actually buy just to just to buy. Yeah, I think for group breaking, a lot of times people people do tend to to kind of go kind of buy a little bit of everything throughout a sports calendar year, right? And then eventually you, you you figure out, hey, I liked this, I didn't like that, and you start start breaking it down to, hey, I may, I'll just do these handful of products a year. Yeah, William's suggesting, hey, maybe just start buying singles of who you like. You know, that might save yourself a little heartache in the group rigs and you can get exactly what you want. That's an option too. It's to 149. But I figure there's a Sky Lewis autograph for Brian and the Charlotte Hornets, but I figure if there's if you're the sort of person who likes watching group breaks, you know, there is a little bit of there is a little bit of uh, of the thrill of the chase that people might like. That's the 25, Brian. You know, so there is that that there is that sort of chase element of it that people like, so I can see that. Some people like that part, some people don't. Trey Murphy, set 47 out of 49. Another Cade Cunningham for Detroit. It's a KD numbered card. And we got a Dominique Wilkins Hall of Fame auto for Atlanta. That goes to Adam. And the Atlanta Hawks. KD for Wayne and the Nets. Got another Cade Cunningham, just a base for Chad B and the Pistons. And Trey Murphy the third will go to William and the Pelicans. There's an Evan Mobley, another Josh Giddy, another Trey Murphy numbered. LeBron James to 99. Kaminga and a Jalen Green rookie card. Right, yeah, this is, uh, yeah. This is still still relatively new for a lot of people, the idea of group breaks. But, you know, with how expensive boxes have become, I think you can see how it has become a fun option to try to be, try to get a team in a larger number of boxes instead of just buying a box for yourself and hoping you'll get the big hit. I don't know. Some people don't like group breaks. Some people would rather just buy the box outright. That's why we have personal breaks on Instagram, at Jaspi's Breaks. So everyone has, there's no really right or wrong way to collect. Just stay within the budget, know what you're looking for, know what you want to get out of it. And then after that, I think it's just a matter of, hey, maybe I just want to, maybe I want to dip my toe into a group break here and there. Start small. And then you can start kind of expanding and contracting your budget. Sometimes it's like, hey, I'm doing well on breaks. I, I can spend a little more. Hey, I'm not doing well on breaks this week. I, I'll spend a little less or just take a break for a week or two. Try again on a different product at a different time, you know, so. But no pressure here. Just I want you to be comfortable with it first. Get to know our house rules on the Frequently Asked Questions page on our website, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Kind of get an idea of that. You know, and then just kind of dip your toes and kind of ease into it. Kate Cunningham, Evan Mobley, Josh Giddy, Scotty Barnes, number to ninety nine, and a Marco Simonovic. 126 out of 149. All right, Eddie's right. Yeah, utilize those checklists. 
Take a look at the number of boxes in a particular break. Tony with the Bulls. You know, just yeah, just just with any just with any purchase. You know, if you're purchasing a, uh, I don't know, I don't know I, I'm I'm still shocked. This hasn't actually happened in a while, but I'm I'm pretty shocked sometimes when people are like, yeah, I bought into this break. You know, blah, 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 blah. So it's a whole case, right? And it's like, no, it's a four box break. What? I didn't know. And it's like clearly in the description, the title. You know, just do your research. You know, be, be sharp. You know, it's like, I feel like for most purchases, I feel like people would, you know, people would at least kind of do a little research before they're buying something, right? A product, an appliance, anything, a burger. If you're, uh, you're sitting down at a at a card table in Vegas. You would kind of be like, "All right, so what's the rules here, right?" Just even if it's a familiar game. The Ben Simmons blue. These prisms act as a update. These are prism update cards. It's Brooklyn Nets gear. That'll be for Wayne from the Nets. Donovan Mitchell to 149, and LeBron James in that Phoenix design. All right, yeah. Then people get people get mad if they don't understand how, that. We try to be as clear as possible here, just to avoid any confusion. Because I know it can get complicated. It could be a lot of layers, especially when we get to fillers when we're giving away spots. Fifty-five out of seventy-five, Santi Aldama. That's for the Grizz. That's going to be for Brian. But if you break it down, it's really it's not. Not as complicated as people make it out to be sometimes. Greg Brown, third, 249. Kayshawn with Portland. I suppose, yeah, there is definitely a bit of a learning curve in these group breaks, but ultimately kind of watch, learn, stick around a little bit. You can kind of, and play along too. Like I said, pretend you have a team in a break and kind of track how much the team costs and what, it, you know, blah, blah, blah. Then I think eventually, Eventually, you'll uh, you'll kind of find your window of when you want to step into a break. All right, two boxes to go here. We still have two breaks to go to try to unlock that promo. And Kyle is saying there's three spots left now in that gold standard six filler. That's great news, because we got to do two more. And if that gold standard fills, we only have to do one more. I mean, it'd be terrible if we left it with one break left and left $3,500 on the table. And we want to give that money away. Those, those, those breaks, very fillable, very doable. Made, we made those props in the Thursday Night Football promo. We made them pretty soft, so we know we're giving away money. All right. Moses Moody, 99. And we got Vit. Krejit, Krejit, I, I'm, I cannot pronounce that name, I'm sorry. Apologies to Vit. But this will go to OKC, that'll go to Patrick K. 007 to 149. <laughs> Another Scotty Barnes for Toronto, that'll be for Roeil. Another Josh Giddy for uh, OKC, that'll be for Patrick. Let's try to find some numbered cards for those guys. Davion Mitchell, like this, to 149 for the Kings. Maybe some more Jalen Greens, too, for the Rockets. All those going to Ryan in Houston. I want to find some low numbers or some autographs for him, too. First autograph of the box is going to be Jaden Springer to 149, or second autograph of the box. 
Jaden Springer, rookie auto for the Sixers, Nico Martin. Got the Sixers straight up. That's right, yeah, not all teams are created equal. I, that's another thing. I don't know how many times someone's like, you know, what, there weren't any XYZ team in there. You know, and I was like, well, how much did that team cost you? And, and it'll be like a, you know, a, a prism break or something like that. And then they, then they got one of the, the more or less expensive teams. And it's like, well, that's why. We, we price the teams based on, on potential quantity and potential quality of the hits. And, you know, it's like you sort of, you, you kind of get what you pay for. And even then, who knows, right? The cheapest team could have the biggest hits or the most expensive team could have no hits. Or the most expensive team could get all the hits, and you can't be mad at that because it was the most expensive team. You know that's going to happen more often than not. There's Isaiah uh, Jackson to 75. It's the way the cookie crumbles. But I think too many people want and or unfairly expect that there's like a one for one sort of equation here. I pay X amount, I deserve X amount. That box, this box costs X amount retail, I should get X amount of value back for that. That's not how it works. Some boxes are gonna have exactly the value of the box, some boxes are gonna have more, some boxes are gonna have less. And it's the same as when we were buying packs of baseball cards when we were kids, that $5 pack. You know, some cards are gonna have more value, some cards aren't gonna have value. Except these days, I guess we're adding more zeros to the end of <laughs> to, the, to the end of the price point. That's just how the hobby is, has evolved. So yeah, especially with the group breaks, or if you're buying boxes for yourself, you gotta you gotta be a little bit of a risk taker. You gotta have a little bit of that adventurous spirit. And they're willing to kind of absorb some some losses sometimes. They're not going to be a winner every time. And as long as you can understand that, and then just have fun with the whole experience that we try to deliver, of just you know having to try to trying to build a good community here. And I think that all all hopefully adds up. Ideally, <laughs> that's the idea anyway. There's Jeremiah Robinson Earl to ninety nine. Quentin Grimes to 149 for the Knicks. That's going to be for William. Got a Scotty Barnes Refractor Honors card. That's pretty nice. For the Raptors, that'll be for O'Neal. Jeremiah Robinson Earl to 75 for Patrick. And the Thunder and another Scotty Barnes this time in an XR design. And Isaiah Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Isaiah Jackson going to Kayshawn Chang and the Pacers. 83 out of 99. Jalen Green, some timeless treasures. Isaiah Livers, Franz Wagner. Steph Curry, red, to 149 for the Warriors. That'll be for William. Jalen Green. LeBron James, luminance, and it's numbered. That's uh, four out of 99. Nice. Adam with my Lakers. Another Scotty Barnes in the Phoenix design. I don't think there's a Phoenix basketball, right? There's Phoenix football, but they really should make Phoenix basketball. I 
All right, and our final auto of the break, Kessler Edwards. Phoenix basketball autograph, Brooklyn Nets, Wayne Stock. Wayne picking up the Nets straight up. That is 95 out of 149. All right, any other low-numbered parallels before we close it? There's another Cade. Book Knight, another Cade. Brandon Boston Jr. And for the Nets, uh, for Wayne Cameron Thomas to 149. Cade Cunningham for the Pistons. That'll be for Chad B. Another Cade Cunningham. All of these will add up, I'm sure. And there you go. Let's give away a box. If you followed the instructions and you bought at least uh, two teams, got a chance at a box of Chronicles. In fact, it's going to be... This very box right there. Hopefully that's the winner. That's the winning one. All right, so let's alphabetize your names by your first names. So Adam, you ended up winning four spots. So that's two in the promo. Brian bought two spots. That's a, that's a spot in the promo. Okay, Sean bought four teams. That's two spots in the promo. Nico Martin got two. That's one entry. Patrick won four. That's two. That's an entry. That's two entries. Roel won two, that's an entry. Ryan with one, Tony with Wayne got two, that's an entry. William, you ended up with five. Four count for the purpose of the promo. That's two entries. And that's only 12, right? I think out of a maximum of 15. So that's pretty decent odds. All right, so we got Adam, Brian, not Chad, not Darren, yes, Keishon, Nico, Patrick. With two, no Ryan, no Tony, yes, Wayne, and then Will. Great. Let's gather all these names here. New dice, new list. And the name on top after four, four the hard way, will uh, get that sealed box mailed to you. Good luck. One, two, three, and four. After four times, it's William. There you go, William. A sealed box going your way. Uh, it's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, but we'll send it to you sealed. You can sell it if you want to. Um, pocket the cash or put it back to jazbeescasebreaks.com. You could rip it if you want to. And if you get anything cool, definitely let us know. If you get like a one of one or something like that. So there you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.